Hello, Namaste, Salam Walekum, Sastrikal. Welcome back to another session with your war chef at warewar.com. Today, we will go straight into Punjab. We will learn their favorite dish. Even though in many countries like US, Canada and so many other places, the first people to put up restaurants were Punjabis. So that is the reason why you go to all these restaurants, the common dishes that are available, very popular dishes are all kind of Punjabi influenced dishes. But somehow these guys have kept the secret of Sarsoga Sag with themselves and they do not serve in a lot of these Punjabi restaurants that are in US and Canada and so many other countries. Today we are going to go and get the secret recipe for this Sarsoga Sag from the Punjabi vault and we are going to cook today. To prepare this all time favorite of Punjabi Sarsoga Sag, you need the Sarso. Sarso is nothing but leaf of this mustard plant. Okay? Here I have got two bunches of uh, mustard leaf which I am going to chop and boil it. At the same time, I am going to use one bunch of spinach leaf. You want to use two portions of the mustard leaf and one portion of spinach leaf. But a lot of times people add one is to one. If you are not very much used to this mustard leaf taste, you can add half of spinach and half of sarsonga leaf, that is the mustard leaf. You know, sometimes this mustard stem can be a little bit uh, tough, so just remove the stems and just use the leaf. Just put some water to boil and add your sarsoka leaf, that is the mustard leaves. See, this is a leafy vegetable. It gets cooked in just few minutes and then add the spinach also. And these leafy vegetables just cooked in just few minutes. And after that, we are going to make a nice paste out of this green leafy vegetables. A lot of people try to cook these green leafy vegetables in a pressure cooker. Dear friends, if you have seen my palak paneer, I have very clearly explained there is a chlorophyll A and B and there is some volatile acids that need to escape. So do not cover this, do not cook in the pressure cooker, just cook like this with the open lid. Okay? Because if you cover it, these volatile acids that need to escape get dissolved and your curry will not be green. Sarsoka sag means it has to be absolute green in color. So to retain the greenness and the freshness of this green leafy vegetables, do not cover them, just cook them with this lid open. Okay? After cooking like around 5 minutes, you can put it in a blender and make a fine paste. Add around uh, one and a half tablespoon of uh, deshi ghee. We are cooking it for Punjabi dish man. You don't want to use oil. To this, add very finely chopped onion. If you cannot chop this onion finely, add little bit of grated onion that will work too. You don't have to brown these onions too much and uh, this should be good enough. Add a little bit of ginger garlic paste and mix it well. You know, I love to add a lot of uh, garlic in a lot of my green dishes. So I'm going to add a little bit of chopped uh, garlic, but you don't have to add garlic. You can add a little bit of ginger garlic paste. That should be good enough. And to this, add around uh, two tablespoons of cornmeal. That is the uh, makhaika atta. You know, add a little bit. It is not the cornstarch, it is the flour, okay? And then mix it good. Okay? Now mix it slowly and cook it in a very slow flame. You don't want any of these ingredients to be burnt. Just cook a little bit. Just to saute this for just for few seconds and then add this uh, paste of spinach and uh, mustard leaf. And then mix it real good. And uh, add green chilli also. Some people love to add this green chilli while you are making the paste of spinach and uh, uh, mustard leaves. But I always love to add separately like this. Because you want to get a small piece of green chilli while you eat that makes it even more tasty. We are lucky because I am cooking in a non-stick pan. Otherwise, this can get stuck at the bottom. You know, always cook this in a medium heat and cook it for a little longer time. That way you get really good flavors of all this sarsonga sag. And also all the makaika flour, everything gets cooked. And, uh, you know, keep mixing in between till the time that this mixture slightly oozes out a little bit of that ghee. Add salt. Some people love to add a little bit of grated paneer 
or uh, even little coriander powder and cumin powder it's up to you if you want to add you can add it but uh, i love to get uh, nice flavors of this uh, sarsonka sag that's why i don't add cumin powder or coriander powder in fact some people you know when they have fry onions they love to add little bit of red chili also if you want to add you can add that for me i just want to get this nice flavor of the sarsonka sag and while i'm finishing it off i'll add little bit of uh, garam masala powder that's it you know make sure you keep mixing it ah oh, it is almost getting done you know in 10 minutes it will start to oozing out little bit of oil once this oil oozes out that means this mixture is cooked now you can add a little bit of moisture to bring it to the consistency you like now you can check the taste a little more of salt if you need it add a pinch of uh, garam masala powder and mix it up and if you talk to any punjabi they will vouch for it that sarso ka saag has to be eaten with makhai ka roti so here i am making a makhai ka roti in india we call maize and uh, most parts of the world it's called corn but you know just make nice roti okay just uh, cook nicely so that it gets a nice color add a good amount of butter la 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 makai di roti with butter woo dear friends makai ki roti with sarson ki saag meri dil bole balle balle dear friends you know there is nothing beautiful than having makai ki roti and sarson ka saag anybody tasted this combination will vouch for what i am saying add a small piece of butter into your sarsonga saag mm. wow whenever i have this sarsonga saag and makai ka roti i don't know why i feel very patriotic because many punjabis with this sarsonga saag and makai ka roti have defended the india from many invaders dear friends i hope you have enjoyed to learn how to make sarsonga saag with your washchef at varewa.com but remember varewa is all about inspiring others to cook so please post your recipes and cooking tips so others can benefit from your great cooking bale bale